Okay, after learning about the basic uh, meaning of utility, now we have to understand the utility of the marginal utility of money. Money, you all know, it is all the currency notes which you have in notes, coins. You basically need to know that money itself doesn't have any utility. Like for example, if you are hungry, you cannot eat the currency note or coin. But money has the power to purchase utility. Or you can say it can purchase the goods and services which will provide you utility or help you to satisfy your want. So utility of money is basically measured in terms of the utility. Derived from the goods and services which the money can buy. <coughs> so you have to keep in mind that this marginal utility of money is very important because whenever we are uh, trying to compare the consumer's equilibrium or trying to achieve the consumer's equilibrium, we have to maximize the satisfaction and you have to remember that satisfaction is achieved only when you convert the money into goods and services. Like keeping money with yourself will not provide you any satisfaction. So the objective is to attain the maximum possible consumption, right? But then also utilize your income in the best way. Uh, it resembles <coughs> the utility provided by per rupee like for example you say uh, the margin utility of a commodity is say 50 utils and say price of that particular commodity is say 10 rupees so spending 10 rupees is giving you utility of 50 utils so its marginal utility of money means that 1 rupee is giving you utility of 5 utils or marginal utility of money is 5 utils per rupee, right? You always have to remember this particular concept because this is very important to understand the consumer's equilibrium. And now we are moving on to our first case of the consumer's equilibrium. Like we discussed that it is the cardinal approach. Actually, we have been discussing all the marginal utility, total utility, all these are part of cardinal approach. Because in the ordinal approach, utility is not measurable. So you cannot have total utility and marginal utility. Right? Cardinal approach basically has two cases. One commodity case and two commodity case. Under one commodity, we assume that the consumer is consuming only one good. Why here we assume that the consumer is consuming two goods? Right. So first, we will study the one commodity case. Before moving on to the explanation of the consumer's equilibrium, I would like to tell you that all these equilibriums have certain conditions. Right? And any condition can be explained with the help of method of elimination. Method of elimination, elimination you already know the meaning to remove something, right? You watch the reality shows, there you see the elimination round means uh, removing someone or uh, from the particular game or whatever it is. So let's like, suppose if I have three options, say three conditions and I have to prove that this condition is correct. Method of elimination simply means that you prove that this is wrong and this is wrong. So obviously this is correct, right? This method is used for explaining all the conditions in economics, whether it is consumer equilibrium or producer equilibrium, or it may be any other condition. So very important method.
Now the one commodity case. One commodity case as talk, we uh, already talked about this that the consumer is uh, assumed to consume only one commodity and this, this particular approach is based on consumer surplus. Consumer surplus simply means the gain which the consumer can get. For example, if you get utility of 10 utils from a commodity and price of that commodity is say 8 rupees. Right? And we assume that marginal utility of money is 1. So if I divide this by 1 then it will again be 10 utils only. So here the consumer is gaining 2 utils. Because he is giving money worth 8 rupees but getting the utility of 10. This is known as consumer surplus or gain. Similarly, if the price of the commodity would have been say 12, right, and the utility remains same, then the consumer would be losing two utils. Or you can say consumer surplus will be minus 2. Right? This concept and the equilibrium is based on maximizing the consumer's surplus. You have to maximize the total gain of the consumer. Means it is the best possible situation. He cannot get, get more than this uh, gain by consuming any more unit of that particular commodity. The condition of equilibrium, we have only one condition in the one commodity case, is mux equal to px. In some of the books you will find the condition is MUX upon PX is equal to MUM. It means that utility per rupee again MUX divided by PX. You have to convert it into, mar into terms of money, marginal utility of money and then you have to see. If I use this condition I have simply assumed that the marginal utility of money is 1. It means 1 rupee gives me one utils of utility. So I need not divide it. I can simply write MUX is equal to PX and it won't be marked wrong. Anywhere if you write this condition it will never be marked wrong. So you have to remember this condition MUX is equal to PX. Now before moving on to explanation of this condition I would like you to have a look at this condition numerically. Right? We will take a numerical example and try to understand how the consumer gain will be maximized if MUX is equal to PX. Take the units PX and UX gain. Consumer surplus. Suppose the price of the commodity is 5, here we assume that the price remains constant and practically also consumer cannot alter the price of the commodity, it is given by the market. Now if see that when the consumer consumes the first, again the assumption is that marginal utility of money is equal to 1, so I am not dividing it. If say marginal utility of money would have been 2, then first I will have to divide MUX by 2, then I will get MUM and then I will compare it with the price. In the first commodity when the consumer is consuming, he is getting the utility of 10 utils but he is spending only 5 utils. Only 5 utils are going from his side. So it means his gain is 5. Again for the second commodity the gain is 3. For the third commodity it is 2 then 0. Now consumer is started facing a loss. right? Paying 5 and getting utils only. 4. So he is minus 1, then he is at a loss of minus 3 and then minus 5. Now see, now I will calculate the total surplus, right? 
remember the idea is to calculate the to, to maximize the total surplus consumer surplus so after consuming the first commodity it's 5 then it is 5 plus 3 8 then 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 0 10 then 9 then 6 then minus 1 sorry 1 Okay, so you can see that consumer surplus is maximized here, two points, but this will be my equilibrium because remember in the beginning we said idea is to convert money into goods and services. So we have to consume maximum possible goods because money itself will not give you any utility or will not help you to satisfy any of your want. This is the condition of the consumer's equilibrium, where is consumer surplus is maximized. At that point, it can easily be seen that MUX is equal to PX and consumer's gain is zero. Now, all these units, why they are not equilibrium? Remember the condition, I say that it is MUX is equal to PX. Okay, and I also told you that the method uh, to be used for explaining these conditions would be the elimination method. So, I have two possible variations. One could be MUX more than PX one could be MUX less than PX, right? Now I'll try to eliminate these two conditions and try to prove that these are not the equilibriums then automatically it is proved that MUX is equal to PX or if a question is asked to explain the condition MUX is equal to PX so you will follow this method you will first write that these are the two possibilities then you will explain that why it is not the equilibrium and why this is not the equilibrium so this is the point of equilibrium. Now in the numerical we will study how these conditions are explained. You can observe that at units 1, 2 and 3 MUX is equal to PX, MUX is greater than PX right for all the three goods. So all the three units you can see they all are increasing by surplus right. So when there is a chance to increase the surplus that particular 